But yes, someone we interviewed and uh, I liked him a lot. Uh, I like old guys, so you know, he's close to my age, anybody, but uh, it was a tough decision. But uh, we were united in uh, making the decision that Tim was going to be our uh, new manager. You were, were you wary? upset at the end of the season. Do you stand by what you said about how important this year is for everybody in the organization? Uh, absolutely. And one of the things that people seem to uh, miss is everything that I said with the fans afterwards had been said internally multiple times. There had been conversations with the players whose name came up. There, But AJ and I talk about this for on an ongoing basis. We've said that 20 and 21, we have to compete, and we mean it. And the fact that we sucked at the end of last year, the fact that we uh, only won, uh, played 347 baseball after the All-Star game was absolutely unacceptable. And I watched the team on the field. You saw the team on the field. We were an embarrassment for the last three or four weeks of the season, and we're not going to do that. You know, if, if we don't perform better in 20, 2020 and 2021, we will make changes. That's absolutely it. AJ knows that and uh, is comfortable with it. And uh, I think so is Tim. We've got to win and we've got to win now. That's the expectation. Hey, Ron, were you at all wary with going with another first year manager? Did you And did you encourage him to maybe consider candidates outside of his Texas Rangers circle? Yes, we did. And we talked to a number of people outside of the Texas Rangers circle. But the reality is that the GM has to hire his uh, manager, and after going through all of it, we felt very comfortable that uh, the experience he had with AJ earlier, the experiences he had after AJ left, were sufficient that he had the uh, credentials to lead this ball club. And he has an ability to connect with people that uh, I have not seen that often, young and old, and whether they're experienced players or not. Uh, He's reached out and talked to a number of them. I've heard from some of those players. They uh, really uh, like the way he's approaching things, and uh, he knows we have to surround him with some experience on the coaching staff. You know, the National League thing, we know we don't have a lot of National League experience, National League experience with Ting. We have none. But we will get the people that uh, finish out the uh, coaching staff that can uh, get the deal done. Do you feel like that was an element that was missing? willing to make mistakes. Are you guys there going to be supporting him through those mistakes as he continues to grow? We have to win in 2020. Mistakes will be made if they're mistakes of aggression. Uh, we can cover those off. If they're uh, mistakes of, let's say, uh, not playing hard or whatever, uh, I don't ch think uh, Ting is going to accept that. I think he will force the players to get off their duffs and play aggressive baseball. When you say win... The chemistry in that clubhouse in second half of last year. It's a nice term. I, I sure was impressed with it. Uh, there was no chemistry after the All-Star game. The closer you got to the end of the season, the more you could tell the chemistry wasn't there. But how much is that on your players and not just the manager that, that took that walk plank behind? I can't, I can't, Marty, I can't give a percentage, but the players owned a good portion of it too. You know, uh, and I've had players say to me, apologize to me for their lack of effort at the end of the season. So they know expectations are far higher going forward. And I've heard from a lot of players in the offseason who understand that the uh, Performances in 2020 have to be far superior to what they were in 2018. And when you say win, are you talking about playoffs? Are you, when you say win, do you mean like finish over 500, or are you talking about actually being in the playoffs this year? I have a number that's uh, well over 500. Um, we don't control how you get to the playoffs. Other teams, uh, we don't control what other teams do, but we have to be far higher than we were in 2019, and that means. 500, how far over 500? I'm hoping we hit my number, but I'm not going to reveal that. A few people know it, and we'll go from there. What's your direct message to the fans? This will be a uh, the direct message to the fans is we're still committed to winning in 2020. We have not changed that, and we feel the uh, manager hire is going to be contributing to that process. Did he blow you away in the interviews? Is that why this, this occurred? I don't want to use that term anymore. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it, it was a good interview process. We spent a lot of time and we were very impressed with uh, how he connected with all the people along the way in the interview. And uh, we think he, uh, checking uh, on it, dotting the I's, crossing the T's in terms of following up, uh, everything we got on him was unbelievable from people he had touched along the way. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.